Uh, we have a 6L80E, it's out of a 2010 uh, Chevy Avalanche. Uh, vehicle was brought in with a no move condition. Well, it was slipping bad. Here's uh, what we found in the unit. See, these clutches are incinerated, actually melted uh, melted one of the plastic uh, components in there. Uh, here's uh, another section of uh, clutches. So this thing was in very bad shape. This vehicle was driven, I guess, all the way to the end. Here's the control unit, otherwise known as a Tecum unit. Uh, this is the computer for the transmission, all the solenoids for the transmission. Um, here are some of the other clutches in the transmission. But, you know, the culprit here, uh, these pistons are a very, very problematic piston. It looks like you've highlighted uh, where it was cracked. So this crack caused a hydraulic leak. Hydraulic leak basically decimated the clutches. Uh, in addition to the build, here are the unit going back together. You can go on all the ceiling rings, all the new clutch components. Some of the drums are loaded here. Uh, but in addition to that, <coughs> also install a sonic zip kit. Uh, this kit is designed to uh, address some inherent problems with these transmissions, uh, some hydraulic problems in the valve body that can lead to a repeat occurrence of the failure. So once these components are installed, in addition, we're also going to be installing a, uh, a piston that's an upgraded piston uh, that's uh, a bit better than the factory piston. And uh, once all these uh, these upgrades are installed, transmits are rebuilt, going to be able to make it better than it would be uh, from the factory and also... Uh, Save money compared to a factory remanufactured unit.